Hey, what's up, everybody? This is another episode here, 60 Vids in 60 Days. This is number 17. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'm going to talk about the heavyweight fight between Alistair Overeem and Walt Harris, the main event of the UFC Fight Night, the third event in eight days. It's a very interesting fight. It went a weird direction. We thought we were going to see what was supposed to happen or what everybody anticipated to happening, but Walt Harris just, just didn't have enough to put Alistair over him away, right? He didn't give up, right? So let's get right into it. The first round, it was a cat and mouse game. Everybody, you know, they were both kind of, you know, jarring back and forth. They were kind of testing each other. And then Walt Harris was being the aggressor. He looked like he had more energy in that first round. Like he wanted to end this night fast. Like he wanted to get the knockout. He thought he had an opportunity. He connected. Once he connected, he started going in for the kill. He started being more aggressive. He started using a lot of energy. And I mean a lot of energy. And maybe he used too much energy. He didn't pace himself. And he tried to go in for the win. He he had him on the ground. He kept on trying to ground and pound him. He he kept on, he kept on, he kept on. And Overeem being the feisty, experienced, knowledgeable, wisdom-filled veteran goes, not today, Linda. Not today. He took the onslaught. He took the blows. He said, I just have to survive this little portion here because he feels that Walt Harris being the bigger guy, the guy that weighs 265, the heavyweight limit, and he did. He outlasted him. That first round obviously was going to go to Walt Harris. It's a five-rounder, which Walt Harris has never been in, a five-rounder, right? So his inexperience is going to show, right? So he didn't put the nail in the coffin on the first round. And Alistair Overeem survived and said, I have more energy. And the second round, what happened? He started to take over. Now, Walt Harris, being inexperienced, his game plan there was no plan B, so he didn't know what to do with the fact that he was going to run out of energy and his gas tank got empty. So what happened? Overeem took advantage of it. He caught him. He kept beating him. Walt Harris was clearly tired. So I like Walt Harris in what he was trying to do, but it was a tale of two game plans. Overeem obviously decided that he's not going to... He's going to try to stretch the fight and maybe to rounds three, four, and five... And Walt Harris tried to finish him early, and Walt Harris paid with that game plan, right? If Walt Harris was smart, he would have got up, conserved electricity, I mean, energy. Once he, dis once he discovered that he couldn't finish him off and he was kind of having a hard time, you can see it, right? When he was trying to finish off over him, you can see that he was kind of not being able to punch in that last couple of hits. And so what happens is he... he uh, uh, um, he put himself in a situation where he got stuck, where he couldn't finish him off, but he was gassing out, right? He was running out of energy. Second round, Overeem saw this. He got out of it. He stood up. He got out of it. He withstood the barrage of Walt Harris's punches because Walt Harris is a big guy, right? So what happens, right? He puts himself in a situation where now in the second round, Overeem takes over. And he, he does what a KG veteran who has over 60 fights does. He knows what to he knows the fact that Walt Harris is a very talented athlete. He's a big guy, but he didn't have enough gas in the tank and he took over and he beat him. So Walt Harris, I like to see him fight again, but he hit his that loss is a result of bad training. I don't necessarily think Walt Harris's team kind of let him down and how they prepared him for that. If you're a big guy and you're in the heavyweight division. And if you don't have a plan for this type of situation, if you say that if you don't finish him off in the first 15 or 16 punches and you get lucky and you, you put him down, you should back off, conserve your energy. You should know what you can do, what your cardio is. That's your training step. That's your trainer, your head coach, your managers. Those are the people that are supposed to be able to recognize that and teach that to you and put that in your head. So I think his team let him down more than anything because that strategy was there, right? It was a simple thing. He couldn't put him out in the first minute. He had to back off, conserve his energy, go to the second round with some energy, and Overeem hurt. He could have did that. He could have backed off, reset, throw some more punches, maybe connect on another one that dropped Overeem in the first place. That's kind of what the game plan should have been. If you couldn't finish him off, back off, reset for the second round, try to do the same thing again, rinse and repeat, rinse and re repeat, Overeem would have succumbed to it. Once Overeem realized that he didn't have a good game plan, he just took advantage of it. Overeem's plan was to survive the first round, which he barely did. 
He survived, Overeem only survived, not because of his planning, but because of the lack of strategy from Walt Harris. That being said, the next round, Overeem recognized this like a KG-65 veteran should. Somebody who likes to do, likes to be in there. Somebody, as Overeem stated himself, this is what I've been doing my whole life. I got 23, 27 years training, 23 years in the game. He's been doing this his whole life. He turned 40 years old. He, you talk about veteran and miles. He's, he's seen all the situations. He fought Francis Ngannou. He fought all. He fought Brock Lesnar. He fought a bunch of people, right? Throughout the time of when there was drug testing, no drug testing. It was strict, not strict. So he's seen the whole gamut of the whole thing. Once you see that Walt Harris was gassed out, then you can pick your, then that's not the same guy you're fighting as in the first round. He's not going to be as sharp. He's not going to be as active. He's not going to be as responsive. And he's not going to be able to defend himself the same way. So Overeem recognized that, took it, took care of that. That's how he got the victory. It, it's really not a huge mystery about how it was happened, but that had to do with a lot with Walt Harris defeating himself versus Overeem actually being the superior athlete, quote unquote, right? But anyways, tell me what you guys think. Like, subscribe, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Talk to you guys later. Bye.